Shalom Zion, all honor, glory, and praise goes to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. Brothers and sisters, I just want to want y'all to hear how deceived out of their minds these heathens are in their Christianity, Christian sanity. These people have been turned over to a great grand delusion as spoken of in Second Thessalonians chapter 2. The Mosai has turned them over Zion. But I want you all to listen to this before we get into that script. Listen to this. That's a great question. I do not have direct knowledge of that personally in terms of an individual, how they are selected. So someone asked me who the 144,000 are. Well, the very people that are being targeted by this gang stalking program, the targeted individuals, those are the 144,000. God's elect people here today waking up. We're waking up. We're being activated through this punishment, through this torture, this persecution, which has now started on us. All it's doing is infusing us with more power and knowledge and strength in Jesus' name. It's waking us up to what is being done, the reality of it. Because they were anticipating our arrival into this earth. Do you see the insanity? Do you see these heathens thinking that they're the 144,000? Proclaim the name J.C. as the Savior. Believing that because all these calamities are coming upon them, that it's because they're being awakened. Deceived out of their minds, Zion. And they won't know until the day of their death. Or when, if they're still alive, when they see how Mashiach cracked that sky. They're not going to know that they're wrong. Their mouth's going to gap open. They're going to realize that their fathers taught them lies and deception. This is the insanity of these people. Let's listen just a little bit more and we get into some more script. Our arrival into this earth, our birth here, the fallen ones, the demons, the 1% elite who control everything, we're waiting for us and anticipating our arrival. And that's why it seems like this targeting has been going on since birth. It really has been. The 144,000 were born into this gang stalking system. The targeted individuals are God's elect chosen people who are meant to shake this earth and rise up and do greater things than Jesus to make way for his second coming before he gets here. So they're trying to suppress that. The 5G. Do you see the insanity? Going on his own thoughts, his own righteousness, self-righteousness. Has nothing to do with the scripts, Zion. These people have been turned over to a great delusion. Let's get into some script. Alright, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Hashatan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish. So this deceivableness of unrighteousness is in them that perish. It's in them. These are the children of Belial, the wicked. Why? Because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. 
And for this cause, Yahweh shall send up strong delusion. It's the most high sending them the strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And the world that they, these Gentiles created for themselves and their version of Christianity is filled with filth and unrighteousness and whoredom and pagan, pagan worship. Though they canny coat it with their white supremacy and civilized ways of self-righteousness. They have deceived themselves, Zion. And this is the reason why they believe what they believe. They have created a religion that is not of this here. Though they use this. But it's always to their advantage and their liking, Zion. So let's go to... Let's go to Book of Jubilees here. Y'all know where I'm going. Let's... See some more evidence of the Most High turning them over to their great delusion. But he chose Yahshua to be his people and he sanctified it and gathered it. Oh, sorry, this is uh, Jubilees chapter 15, verse 29, tw verse 30, in the middle of verse 30. But he chose Yahshua to be his people and he sanctified it and gathered it from amongst all the children of men. For there are many nations and many peoples, and all are his, and over all have he placed spirits and authority to lead them astray from him. That's what he did to all the other nations. That's the reason why they are as spittle. There is nothing to him. We're talking about their, their nations as a whole, not the individuals now. There are individuals that will come to the truth and seek the truth by faith. When I talk about those individuals out of those other nations, but the nations as a whole are as spittle to the most high. He placed spirits and authority to lead them astray from him. But over Yahshua, he did not appoint any angel or spirit, for he alone is our ruler, Zion, and he will preserve us and require us at the hand of his angels and his spirits and at the hand of all his powers in order that he may preserve us, Zion, and bless us, and that we may be his and he may be ours from hence forever. Henceforth forever, Zion. So this is what's written in the Most High's Holy Word. If you believe the book of Jubilees. Hallelujah. Let's go and get some more evidence here why these heathens been turned well how these heathens been turned over to their deity that they worship. Now you know the wor the West worships the G-O-D character. So let's get his name. And the name of the third. This is the book of Enoch chapter 69 verse 6. And the name of the third is God Real. This A is pronounced with an R ah sound. Ah. God. And God. Real. This is the one that showed all the deadly blows to the sons of men. And he led astray Eve. And he showed the weapons of death to the children of men. That's why they always have war. Listen to this. They, 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 they just can't live at peace. The shield and the breastplate and the sword for slaughter and all the weapons of death to the sons of men. And from his hand they have gone out against those who dwell the dry ground or earth. From that time forever and ever. Why you think these Western heathens, heathen Gentiles, went out into the world with a great deception, acting like they were the saviors of the world, as they still do. They had this savior complex upon them because they turned themselves into deities, just as Eve fell for that, say, Hashatan's lies in the garden. So have they, and they have turned themselves over to their deity, God real and just as we read here in book of Jubilees the most high would turn would place spirits and authority over them to lead them astray from him and we have the evidence of the heathens deity right here this is the west Zion and their deity and they took our book and they put their deities in it. 
and their created JC as their Messiah. It's not, they're not our Messiah. That, that's not our Heavenly Father, G-O-D, and that's not our Messiah, J-C. They're not the same people as Yahuwah and Yahusha. And it's definitely not the same as the ones the Ishmaelites worship, the Allah and Muhammad. The, those are, that's another deity, and that's another Messiah. The same with, with Christianity, it's the same with Ishmael's religion. When they open up the Quran, or the, the and when they, the heathens open up the Bible, they're reading our manuscript with their changed names in them. So they have been led into a great delusion, Zion. After the working of Satan and with all deceit, deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, it's in them, Zion. Let's go over here to the war scrolls real quickly. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yah and have the testimony of Yahusha, the Messiah. Hallelujah. This is from Revelations 12 and 17. But let's go see who these, who they are. For the instructor, the ruler of the war, the first attack of the sons of light shall be undertaken against the force of the sons of darkness. The army of Baalial, the troops of Edom. This is the army of Baalial, the troops of Edom, the Edomites, Moab, China, the sons of Ammon, Japanese. Why do you think they hate us so much? The Amalekites, that's also Esau, Philistia, Hamites. And the troops of the Kittim of Ashur, these are the Greeks and the Romans right here. Supporting them are those who have violated the covenant. And guess how many nations then join with the West and support of violating our covenant, our law, statutes, commandments. Here they are. These are the sons of darkness. And of course, the very ones that still want to subscribe to their religions, they're going to go against this. But let's keep scrolling down to page 20. You can download the War Scrolls and uh, these other Book of Jubilee and Book of Enoch on my website underneath the tab References. And I have more references as well. Let's get the understanding of Kittim. For behold, I roused the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation interpreted. So Chaldeans in the end times is interpreted as bitter and hasty nation. Who was that? The West. This concerns the Kittim. There is some more evidence. Who are quick and valiant in war, causing many to perish. All the world shall fall under the dominion of the Kittim, the Greeks and the Romans. And the wicked shall not believe in the laws of Yah. And that's why in their churches the laws is done away with. You don't have to do them, blah, 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 blah. Y'all know the rest of the story. They have been turned over to a great delusion. And as you heard in that quick little clip of video, these heathens are deceived out of their minds. Don't fall with them, Zion. Don't go down with them. Don't, don't subscribe. To their world anymore. Come out of her. Partake not in the unclean thing anymore. They're not your friends. They're your enemies, Zion. They're your enemies. But that doesn't mean you do not show forth the light in a dark world. For your light must stand on a, on a hill and shine brightly. Don't believe me, the little critter is going to run from the light. They're going to scurry into their hiding places. But some going to see the light and going to come to it. The very few, and it's only going to be few in these last days. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. This is the, the end time trying, the final trying and testing of Zion the, and the final destruction of Zion 
to purge and, and purge and cleanse out all the rebels and purge and cleanse out all the the wicked Hebrews. And then we're going to be complete. And then it's going to be the Gentiles. This is going to be their their destruction, but the beginning of their uh, thousand years of servitude and slavery that they're going into to purge and cleanse them of the very few that will make it. So we had our 2,000 years when a Judah when Judah fell, we had our 2,000 years and that time is up. They're going to have a 1,000. Why? The most I said, he will punish us double for our sins. That's why we got a 2,000 year sentence. Y'all looking at the 1619 2019, I'm looking at the time we left uh, Jerusalem till now, when the Most High said he would punish you double. He would punish us double for our sins. The heathens get a thousand years because they didn't, they wasn't given a word. They wasn't given the testimonies. They wasn't given all this. We was. So the Most High poured out the wrath over a 2,000 year period. We went in and out of slavery. We went in and out of pestilence, in and out of famines, in and out of the sword being put down on us, in and out of being chased and robbed and taken advantage of, in and out. We always have these up and down moments throughout all this. And now you see the final captivity right here in this final land. Well, actually, there's still slaves being captured on the West Coast, being taken up to North Africa and being enslaved up there. Some of y'all know about that. But there's a, a an appointed time for all of that to end. So we still have to see the um, two witnesses. Our two witnesses come on the scenes, not theirs. Don't listen to these heathens in their records. Listen to the Most Highs. He's going to send his two witnesses. Just like when he sent his two witnesses in Egypt to bring us, uh, prepare us to leave the land. These same two are going to come. Not the same two, but um, Enoch and Elijah, they're going to come. It's, it speaks of Enoch and Elijah in, um, I think it's in Second Ezra, being the ones that's going to come. Because it's appointed to, for every man to die once. They're the only two that didn't die. And no ma no no one is greater than our master, Hamashiach. He came down in the flesh and he died. Them two was the only ones that didn't die. They was taken up. But they're coming back and they will fulfill the word and the judgment that was placed upon all of Adam, Adam's seed. They're going to fulfill that and they're going to end up dying. And, um... There's going to be some of us who's going to be alive and we're going to, we're going to die in an instant, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye and be changed. That's the, uh, the ones that's going to be caught up in air with Hamashiach. Now that's, there's two separate groups, Zion. Y'all got to remember this. There's the ones that are getting caught up, though dead in Hamashiach and those who are alive remain in him who's prepared. They're going to be caught up in air. They're going to go to war spiritually and physically in this world and take it over with Hamashiach. But then you got the remnant of Yahshua that's going to be gathered in the flesh so that they may have children and, children and fulfill that promise. All of us can't get caught up in chains, Zion, because as we, if we are like the angels, there's no marrying and there's no having children. And if that was the case, the angels would have never came down here and sinned against the Most High and took wives and had children with them. Y'all need to stop listening to all these folks, man, and read, 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 and study and ask questions to the Most High. Let them bring you these answers. It's like you brought them to me. It's no respect of persons if you follow His will and His way and stay within the body. And remember, the body has different parts and different things to do in its last days. I have my part along with others. I can't do it all, Zion. I'm just one person here.
but I'm doing my part to help you with what I was given to help you with. Certain parts that uh, I can't help y'all with. I'm still studying it and I'm still getting to understand it. But there's a lot of parts I have well understanding it. Knowledge and wisdom and, and I share that with you. And every now and then, rare occasion, y'all hear me make a mistake. Or I make a mistake in one of my videos with lack of research. Like I did with the 400 year slavery thing. Oh man, I messed that one up. Y'all remember that last year. But some of y'all had long suffered with me and had grace and mercy like the most high I have on me and waited for me to uh, understand about the 400 years. But I still don't believe that it's this year in 2019 because that's the heathen's records we're looking at again, Zion. 1619 to 2019. And of course, when Donald Trump chimed in and everybody was throwing up their hands, waving like, like they just don't care, I was sitting up there suspicious like a mug. I mean, I was like, oh no, HR, these heathens know that they don't see it. Zion doesn't see it. They deceive right now. They don't see it. When he came up with the HR 1242 proclaiming the recognition of the 400 years in America, I knew. The Spirit let me know, oh yeah, these heathens are plotting something. Don't think they're not saying this if they ain't got something plotted out. And it's going to be to the detriment of all those who believe that we're going to free this year because you're not following Bible prophecy properly. There's other events that have to happen. And the only one that is supposed to redeem us is our Savior. It's not going to be no man telling us to go free and go to this land over here. You're going to be free there. Or are they going to just set aside Texas for us? Here, here, y'all have Texas. Y'all go there. You're free now. Go. It ain't going to happen like that. You're being set up. And they working through the Hebrews on here. Trust me on that, Zion. It was some uh, Hebrew, some uh, Hebrews uh, of old, I would say of old, from these old camps that put out that doctrine. And then they got it from a heathen way before that. You know, heathen came up with that way before them. And they probably got it from that heathen and took that doctrine and ran with it. And now all everybody expecting to go free this year. Oh, man. Only if y'all knew Bible prophecy. It really understood the proper order. They got events that had to happen, and the only Savior that that we know of is the Most High through His Son. And He has an appointed time to return and take all the kingdoms and gather His children, His elect. He has an appointed time for this. But no, no, no. Many are going to say, no, that's separate from us going free. No, no, you're just listening to some men and not the book and the way the book put it out. You've been turned over to a grand delusion within the Hebrew awakening. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom Zion. I hope y'all learned something. I got videos about what I'm saying uh, about the um, 400 years and other things I said. Uh, on my channel. So Shalom Zion.